on Facebook and I'm sitting in a car and we were recording live right in Florida because a little, it's a little, actually not too, too bad because I just turned the air conditioner off, but there's an awful loud long train coming in. So that's why I'm sitting here. Good morning, everyone. Guess what today is? It is Fantabulous Friday. This is Nani Boss with two sisters and good morning everyone my name is janice aka wellness diva 5.0 fantabulous friday <laughs> excuse me and i just want to say that um our lineup of guests uh for this month is the bomb we have actually three of our upcoming guests are repeat what i call repeat offenders they've been on before and they're excited to come back and share their updates and we are ecstatic to have them back and we have an amazing um, doctor coming up on Tuesday, May 18th, and just so much, so much goodness. And that's what I think is so, um, what I thought was so fantabulous as I was looking at our May lineup here. What do you have going on, Casu? other than obviously you're at Pickle U? I'm at Pickleball. Uh, yesterday was a tough day. It was a, it was a hot one. So we are trying to get here earlier and earlier to get that activity going on. And today is Friday, so it's Fantabulous Friday. And so many times on Friday, we forget to celebrate so many different things because we're tired, we're exhausted. We, you know, maybe thinking, oh, it wasn't the best week ever. I could have done this, I could have done that. And I think part of that is understanding the shortness of our journey. Now, when I say the shortness of our journey, it's kind of picking and choosing what you're going to derail you from celebrating the successes that you've met, small, medium, big. So when I look at, you know, if one of the goal goals that you set for yourself this week was to be something as significant as being more patient, but you found you derailed because you saw something on social media, you had a derailment in your mindset, right? So instead of saying, look at, take that deep breath, let me embrace it. I'm actually going to react a different way. And in that way, I can celebrate on Friday that I handle the situation better. That's very simplistic in words, but sometimes for many of us is hard because we have outside forces that are, they impact our health, our wellness, uh, our stress level, our mindset, you know, different things that really are paramount into having that overall health and wellness. So when I say trust the journey, the journey is very short. Uh, the, you know, when you meet somebody, your encounter may be a short time. When you start a new program, it might be a short time because it just doesn't fit the needs and or expectations that you thought when you first started it, right? It could be a sport, something that you decided, you know, I'm going to embark on this. I'm, you know, time is ticking, time is short. I'm going to try this. You thought it was one thing, turned out to be another, wasn't a good fit, not a good match. Maybe it was a new way of eating, a new way of approaching something, maybe a business partner, maybe uh, the company that you're at, maybe the job that you're at. And the point of celebrating on Friday not always is the wind of what you think it is. It really could be a reaction because we know and we repeatedly talk about that we are not in charge of what others do, what a company does, what a community does. We can impact in a positive way so that we can celebrate that we handle it a good way or we may change or we were part of the solution, not the problem, by understanding that the journey of all these different segments of things in our life are very short. What do you think about that, Jan? Well, yes. And actually on my, um, which many people don't know, because um, I have not broadcast this um, yet, but I will right now, I have my own YouTube channel. And I just, I do, um, yesterday I chatted very briefly about when you do have a derailment, and I'm sorry, I've got like wispy hair flying in my face, um, but the derailment and how you look at it as part of the journey for every action, there's a reaction. So a, a question that I asked myself probably throughout the day, I'm sure. Uh, I know yesterday I did, I had some challenging time things going on. 
But what it helped me always focus on what I asked myself is, what am I waiting for? What am I waiting for? What am I putting off intentionally or subconsciously? Why don't I just create it for myself and others? Now, I've been, um, one of the things that I am doing too, um, which is, and you may have seen me um, post on the Two Sisters page in the Real Wellness Group and on my personal page, <laughs> is I am learning how to um, create digital products. And part of that journey was doing this kind of task yesterday. And I, so, and that goes back to the time management. So I could have melted under the pressure, which I have been known to do in the past or just say, oh, screw it, I'm just not gonna do it. But wh what was I waiting for? Like, this is so important, not only to me, but to our business that I learned how to do certain things that I'm not well versed in. So being on that type wrote, type wrote rope, blah, being on that derailment, well, oh, it's always a lesson. It's always a lesson in how I should proceed. The other thing that I noticed that kind of threw me off this week, and we another derailment, <laughs> I'm having issues with my hip again. Therefore, the last three days, I've, I've been unable to kickbox. And I've been um, kickboxing at home now because I have the exact same bag um, that's in the studio because I have a lot of major projects going on. But, you know, notice, though, when those things creep up in your life, um, don't, you know, acknowledge them. Come up with something to... Um, get you through that, whether it's maybe rearranging your schedule a little bit, um, <coughs> setting the timer on uh, your iPad or whatever's near you to focus 10 minutes on, for instance, renavigating your structured day. My day is very structured. So that's what I had to do yesterday. It's all a learning experience. And I and I'm feeling fantabulous about that because the old Janice would have melted under pressure and I didn't. So that's what I am feeling fantabulous about. And that's what I really wanted to share with everyone today because it doesn't matter. It matters to you enough. So that's why it should matter. And to kind of turn around the doesn't matter to it, why does it matter? Why do I want to accomplish it? You'd be, you'd be amazed some of the conversations you can have with yourself and be productive and get shit done. That is true. And we, we really try to make it a point to, you know, give you tools on things. And that was kind of leading me to that perspective of, you know, really knowing that, you know, your time, your journey on different pieces to your life, your business, your your life in general, your family time, your time in the community is very short. It's a very short segment of the part of your day. So with celebration, um, should be celebrating actions that you take or you don't take. And how are you going to utilize that to better yourself with your mindset, better yourself with your reaction to things? Because when you show others that you know what, it may not be necessarily worth my time to, and my effort to like argue over a point. So many times, especially in this digital age with social media, we find it's just so much easier to kind of be that behind the keyboard, giving our opinion and not understanding that really is it, is it worth it? Now that does not mean, I wanna make sure that I'm very clear that they're not causes that we should uh, be, be mindful of, be aware of, and celebrate that you got involved and or again part of the solution so i think today for fantabulous friday i would challenge all of our listeners and our viewers be part of the solution you know we it's it's i think it's it's easier to be part of the problem and it's harder to be part of the solution because you always think of i'm only one person what can i contribute what can i do how can i show that i'm celebrating someone else's success how can I 
intertwine with the community in a positive way that is impacting others, bringing joy, bringing kindness in a tumultuous time that we are still currently in. And that's something to celebrate. We kind of overlook the emotional piece to our health and wellness and don't give it a second thought to celebrate it. But there are a lot of times, like how many times where, you know, you pass someone and you're only with them for a short, short period of time and they aggravate the hell out of you. Are you going to devote your precious time because it's time that you can't get back, number one, arguing with that person and or taking a step back and say, geez, I'm not in that person's shoes. Maybe they had a shitty day today. Maybe they woke up on the wrong side of the bed. You know, maybe that that child uh, got under their skin or their or their partner. So I, I think part of celebration of our wins has to be our emotion because in this time, sometimes it's very hard to, to make sure that we're staying on track with our tasks, but always being a part of impacting others in such a positive way. I would always hope that most people would have the mindset of, you know, when I've met somebody or I, I left somebody, I wanna make sure that someone leaves my space, my, my, my visual journey, my life better than before they met me or before they encountered with me. And that doesn't always happen, but, you have to really make sure that you're stepping forward and out of your comfort zone to evaluate what are things that I'm gonna be able to celebrate on Friday, feeling good about that I accomplished, that I did, and that I took a different way, maybe a different approach. I handled the situation differently. I didn't get involved with the gossip. I didn't get involved with the bullying and the you know, opinion making and just took a step back. That is also a win in this in the scheme of life so you have to like celebrate all of what we are include the emotion in it because it does so impact our mindset which in turn impacts our health and wellness so what i'm going to challenge everybody today is patience know that no matter who that you've encountered with that you are in fact impacting other people and you want to make sure that you're impacting and leaving an imprint in a positive way to other people that you surround yourself with and that you you know that encounter you and that they're going to leave you feeling good feeling better than maybe you had the ability to just give them a few minutes to chat with what's frustrating them or what's pissed them off today and maybe your words impacted them in such a way that they're leaving you better off than they started off with. So those are the different things that really affect and impact our health and wellness. What do you think, Jan? That's a great way to have a fantabulous Friday, don't you think? Oh, heck yes, it certainly is. And obviously it's um, Mother's Day weekend. So happy Mother's Day to all the amazing moms out there. Um, picture of our mom right over my shoulder there um, with Poppy and my son from, that was his, oh my gosh, his graduation picture. Um, which was quite a few years ago. But, you know, Mother's Day, take that time to reflect and enjoy your family and go outside in the fresh air, get some flower. Well, maybe you'll be getting flowers, I should say. You shouldn't be getting flowers. Somebody should be getting flowers for you. So on that note, take your wellness to the next level. Be proactive be you, love you, because guess what? You are worth it. My name is Janice, aka Wellness Diva, and I am part of two sisters. And this is Carol Sue, aka Naughty Boss, live from Pickle You at Vera Beach on a nice, warm, sunny day, getting ready to get my pickleball on. I hope you guys all have a fantabulous Friday. We'll chat soon on Monday. And guess what Monday is? Monday Mindset. Have a great weekend. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Take care, everyone. Bye, everyone.